Hello, in the particular lecture video, we are going to see how to draw the kinematic diagram from the machine diagram and also how to calculate the degree of freedom using Goods Black criterion. So, before going to that, we should know what is the kinematic diagram. Really. So, it is nothing but the diagram which illustrates the number of links and number of joints and what kind of pairs will be there, how many joints will be there, how many links are there. We have to illustrate everything into the particular diagram apart from the motion apart from the forces apart from the shape apart from the dimension we have we should clearly show that how many links will be there how many pairs will be there so this kind of diagram is known as kinematic diagram so here let me start the first problem will be the shear press so actually the machine diagram is given we have to convert the particular machine diagram into kinematic diagram so the first step will be always we have to go for the fixed link where the particular machine element is fixed we have to ensure that so here in the shear press the particular element is fixed using the nut and bolt joint and here another element is fixed using bolt joint so here let me show that so here the particular element is fixed and then another element is fixed the diagram should not we should not maintain any dimensions or shape we have to show the number of links so here the two elements are fixed we have to consider all the fixed links are number one and then in the right side fixed link there is a rotary joint so here rotary joint is there and a lever is attached okay a lever is attached so the lever is number two so number two link is lever which is attached to the right side fixed element and another one intermediate link will be there which connects the lever and the slider slider or press so a slider will be there and the intermediate link is connecting the lever and the slider so the slider link is number three and the intermediate link number four that's it so this is the way how we can convert the machine diagram into kinematic diagram so here by using Kurzweil criterion we can say the degree of freedom is equal to three times of number of links minus one minus two into lower pair minus higher pair minus random degree of freedom so n is nothing but the number of link how many links are there we have to count it and p1 is nothing but lower pair so how many pair which is having surface contact if a pair having surface contact that will be lower pair if a pair having point contact or line contact that is higher pair and redundant degree of freedom or dof so which is nothing but if any part having a motion which doesn't affect the particular mechanism so a motion is there the motion if it is there or not it will never affect the particular mechanism that particular uh, motion is known as render degree of freedom so for maximum cases the render degree of freedom will be zero only so we have to carefully count the number of links number of higher pair number of lower pair so in the particular shear press and we have converted into kinematic arrangement and then we have to count the number of links number of links is equal to 4 and number of joint we have to count so here one turning pair is there another turning pair and another turning pair there are three turning pairs and then one sliding pair is there so one slider and total pair is number 4 so while counting the turning pair we have to count in the particular joint how many links are connected in the particular joint link number one and link number two is connected so one and two is a pair and here in the particular joint two and link number four is connected so two four is the pair and here is the particular joint link number four and three is the pair so we have to check that only one pair should be there one pair we have to count one you suppose if there is two pair two pairs are there we have to count another one also so here four number of links are there 
and three turning pairs and one sliding pair so totally four pairs so the degree of freedom will be three into number of links number four minus one minus two into number of pairs four minus no higher pair is there that is no point contact so zero there is no written degree of freedom so zero so that will be nine minus eight is equal to one degree of freedom one so this is one problem and problem number two there is the vice grip so here also the machine diagram is directly given we have to convert the machine diagram into kinematic diagram so let me take the upper lever that is the upper lever and with the upper lever there is an intermediate link okay one link is there which is connected to the lower lever which is connected to the lower lever and with the lower lever one lower jaw is connected that's it so upper lever is there so upper lever i have drawn and with the upper lever one intermittent link is there which is connected to the lower lever and with the lower lever the lower jaw is connected so the lower jaw so upper lever and jaw is number 1 intermittent link number 2 and lower lever is number 3 lower jaw is number 4 so the number of link is equal to 4 and while counting the pairs so here is a turning pair and here is a turning here is a turning and here is a turning there are four number of turning pairs so after counting it we have to check that how many pairs are there actually so here 1 and 2 is the pair in the particular joint in the joint 2 and 3 is the pair in the particular joint 3 and 4 is the pair in the joint 1 and 4 is there so okay in all the joints only one pairs having each all the joints then we can count one pair each so that is four number of pairs and degree of freedom is equal to 3 into number of links minus 1 minus 2 into number of pairs and higher pair zero and degree of freedom zero that is 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 so degree of freedom 1 and then the third diagram so here is the toggle clamp so here also we have to go with where the fixed join will be so the bottom element is a fixed one okay here is a bottom element bottom element is the fixed one and with the bottom element the clamp is there clamp okay clamp is there and with the clamp the pressing lever is there with the clamp the pressing lever is there and with the fixed link and the pressing pressing lever one intermittent link is there one intermittent link so here is a one pin joint here is one pin joint and here is one pin joint and here is one pin joint so fixed is number 1 and clamp is number 2 and handle lever is number 3 and intermittent link is number 4 so number of link is equal to 4 number of pair is equal to there are four turning joints so here 1 and 2 this is 1 and 4 this is 3 and 4 and this is 1 and sorry 2 and 3 there are four different pairs four pairs so obviously the degree of freedom is equal to 3 into n minus 1 number of links minus 1 minus 2 into number of pair minus higher pair minus redundant degree of freedom the answer is 1 degree of freedom is equal to 1 that is problem number 3 and then problem number 4 the lifting table so actually when we get confused is the mechanism is lifting table the input is the handle with screw we need not to care about the input link actually we have to draw the kinematic diagram for the mechanism the input may be the motor the input may be the hydraulic cylinder the input may be the manually wheel we need not to count that while calculating degree of freedom for the particular mechanism because there is a input link actually we need not to care about how the input is given if it is from the motor if it is from the engine if it is from the uh, any other actuators we need not to consider that we have to consider the mechanisms and the links in the particular mechanism only so here the bottom portion is fixed okay the bottom portion is fixed with the bottom portion there is a lever with the turning joint and then another lever 
in the another lever the bottom portion is connected with the slider actually this will be sliding when you rotate the wheel this will be sliding okay so this is a slider and then top portion will be connected to the table in the top portion the right side will be connected with pin joint left side is connecting with the slider so clean the bottom portion is completely fixed and there is x x shaped link in the x shaped link the right side flange is having top top turning pair and bottom sliding pair and the another link having bottom turning pair top sliding pair that's it so link number 1 is fixed link number 2 and link number 3 table is link number 4 and slider is link number 5 and another slider is link number 6 so there are six number of links link 1 is fixed link 2 is a crossed one link 3 is a crossed one link 4 is the table and link 5 is a slider link 6 is the another slider so here number of links is equal to 6 and number of pairs we have to count there is one turning and another turning another turning another turning four number of turning pairs and then and in between also there is a turning pair in between also there is a turning pair so there are five number of turning pairs and there are two sliders so plus two sliders so totally seven number of pairs so degree of freedom actually degree of freedom is equal to 3 into number of links 6 minus 1 minus 2 into number of pairs 7 higher pair 0 greater than degree of freedom 0 so 15 minus 14 is equal to 1 so degree of freedom is equal to 1 and the fifth diagram is the mechanical press so here the mechanical press most uh, asked question in non university examination so how we are going to convert the mechanical press into kinematic diagram so here here the cut particular pillar the entire pillar is fixed so the entire pillar is fixed entire pillar is fixed and with the pillar there is a link and then another link and then another link the third link which is connecting with the slider and finally the handle lever finally the handle lever so number of links are the fixed link number 1 and the intermittent link number 2 intermittent link number 3 intermittent link number 4 and fifth is a slider and sixth is the handle lever so there are six different number of links so here n is equal to 6 and number of pair we have to count here 1 2 3 4 i can count the four joints and here is a twist part actually we have to count the number of pairs particularly each joint having how many number of pairs so here this is a fixed link number 1 so the particular joint 1 to 1 and 2 is connected and then in the particular joint 4 and 5 is connected but here 2 3 and 4 3 links are connected together when ternary pair is there when ternary pair is there one ternary pair is equal to two binary pair if three links are connected together in a joint we have to count two pairs if two links are connected like that link number 1 and link number 2 if two links are connected we have to count one pair if three links are connected 1 2 3 we have to count 1 2 is a pair and 1 3 is a pair there are two pairs are there so whenever three links are connected together the pair is known as ternary pair one ternary pair is equal to two binary pairs so number of links six and number of joints four in four joints three joints are binary and one is ternary so three plus one ternary is equal to two binary and totally five binary so there are Five binary pairs, and 
again there is a slider one slider and then here is sorry an additional one is the plus one five joints four pair four then six totally seven pairs so again repeating sorry for that one two three four five five joints are there in five joints one two three four four joints are binary and one join is ternary so one ternary is equal to two binary so there is totally six binary and then additionally one slider is there so totally seven pairs so p1 is equal to seven so degree of freedom dof is equal to three into number of links minus one minus two into pairs seven minus zero minus zero is equal to 15 minus 14 is equal to 1. So this is the way we can draw the kinematic diagram and we can calculate degree of freedom by using Kutzbach criterion. Thank you.